ramen noodles. This is a 2x, 2 times spicy. Here goes. Hello everyone and welcome to another camping video. I'm at a place called Vala Spa in Ilovo Beach, Pazula Natal. Your destination is on the right. Just gonna get ready to set up tent. Let me just show you the site where I'm at. So after I set up tent, I'm going to take a walk around the site and then I'm going to take a walk to the beach and I know there's uh, like a bar or some sort of market that's close by. I'm going to take a walk there and later on for supper tonight, I'm going to be making two times uh, spicy ramen noodles. First time ever I'll be trying that out. So let me get started with setting up tent. I was wanting to set uh, to pump up my air bed, but there seems to be no power at the moment. In this area at the moment in South Africa, we are currently experiencing load shedding. So what load shedding is, the company that supplies the country with electricity, all the different areas, uh, it can't sustain the load. So throughout the day, we'll have like two hours, maybe four hours throughout the day without any electricity. So that's called load shedding. When the municipality shuts, uh, like cuts off electricity to certain areas throughout the day, so the energy generating company can handle the load. So I'm going to take a walk right at the beginning and show you all the different camping sites and then we'll end up at where I am tonight and then we'll take a walk on the beach. Let's start off here by the pool. sun decks to chill at by the pool and here there's a braai area or like a picnic area where you could braai and have your food so this is actually a resort so apart from camping there's also like chalets and stuff that people could stay here so let me just go to the bar because I'll have a better angle so there's a picnic area and then the pool is after that okay let's go towards the camping area now I guess that's one of the places you could hire out as a chalet but this is a campground let's go further down That there is a toilet area, toilet and shower. It's got solar panels there. Let's just check out the 
ablutions. So there is some light, I'm guessing from the solar, but it's not full power. There's a toilet. And this is like a shower area. Same as the other ones here. Yeah? Fresh basin. So the campground starts here. This is quite a big area, but I went further down because I wanted to be sort of alone. It's like a playground area. So I went all the way down, right? Almost to the end. There's more camp spots. I'm not gonna walk all over because it's more or less the same. Uh, so this whole area is completely empty and I decided to camp here. So I have this entire area all to myself. Let's go down there, down to the beach. There is a code here. They gave me the code at reception. So you go over this bridge and then you are down at the beach. It was a railway line. If you can see here, yeah, the water came all the way up here when it was high tide. But now, I think it's probably low tide because it's the middle of the day. Let's see where it is now.
to walk up all the way back this sort of hill like So I'm taking a walk now out of the campsite because uh, when I was checking in the lady at reception said that there's like a small market to, uh, down the road it's like a market and it also has like a beer garden over there and I didn't bring any beer on this camping trip, a trip. and that walk to the beach was quite tiring I think I need one at the moment so I'm just going to take a walk there So, it's just down the road, a couple of hundred meters, and then I should be at that market. So I think this is it. You can see cars parked here. Let's go check it out. They must be selling like fertilizer, plant, plant growth. Yeah, it's like a pet shop. And like a, looks like they're selling plants and trees. Or something. But there's more like plant stuff. Let's see what's up here. That noise. Some sort of bird. So I visited that beer garden, guys. It was quite good. Now I'm going back. I need to make the ramen noodles. But I noticed there's a shop like around the corner that I could get like milkshake. My friends told me that if I'm trying this two times ramen noodles, that I need to have like either milk or milkshake so I'm just here at the shop I'm back at the campsite and I got my milk I've got the air bed pumped so that's ready to go
Good time, spicy ramen noodles. So, I'm going to cook the ramen noodles exactly as it says on packaging. Uh, put noodles in boiling water, 600 ml, and simmer for 5 minutes. Put the liquid sauce and then stir fry for 30 seconds and then add flakes and stir well, then serve. Get this gas started. Should be on. Yeah, it's on now. 600 ml of water. So the water is boiling, I'm going to add in the noodles now. Um, sauce here. Yeah. And the flakes. Okay. When it gets soft, I'll turn it over. It was a bit too hard to break. So this is uh, a sauce and these are the flakes. So I need to cook the noodles for five minutes. Add the sauce, let it cook for, let it simmer for 30 seconds, then add these flakes. So, I think most of the water is cooked already. I'm going to be adding in this sauce. Whoa. It smells quite strong. I'm just gonna let it cook in the sauce and then I'll add the flakes. It's time to add these flakes. I'm not sure what the flakes do. <coughs> So that's about 30 seconds. I'm just gonna put the flame off. Let's try it a little bit. Then I got my plate here and my fork. And I was told that I should have milk ready on standby because it's quite hot. Well, I got milk and I got water just in case. Get all this last drops of sauce. I'm gonna put this frying pan down as well as the gas stove. Let me open up this milk before I even start. So I got milk here, water here. If you would like a close up, let me show you.
So, first time trying spicy ramen noodles. This is a 2x, two times spicy. I haven't even eaten the one time spicy. But I just went straight for the two times spicy. Okay, let me get some. Looks quite scary. It has a red look to it. There it goes. Mm. <coughs> Good. It hits your tongue immediately. This is hot. So, <clears throat> damn, it's a bit too much. Let me, let me just take a little bit. Give me a little. Mm. It is hot. It is. I think the wind is helping me because it's cooling down the noodles like it's making it a bit cold it's not like as hot as it was when I first took it off the frying pan but it's it's still hot I just want a little bit give me a little <clears throat> Let me try the water first. It's not even a lot of water here. Yeah, I used the water to cook the noodles. Okay. No. No for water. to breathe. <clears throat> Let me try the mug. Okay, the mug tastes a lot better. I'm not going to drink any more water. I have this mug. I don't know what the mug does. Maybe like does something to your throat but it tastes better than the water Okay, when you're eating it, it tastes bad. But when you drink something, it tastes even worse. When I drink, when I had a sip of that water, I don't know, it like amplified the heat. Why is so much coming? I just want a little bit. <laughs> Thank God it's windy. It's like the wind is blowing my face. I just need a break.
that's the thing. When you eat it, and it's gotten a bit cold now, because I'm outside and it's a bit windy. So it's making the noodles cold. What was I saying? It was windy, so it made the noodles cold. It's making the noodles cold. So when you, <coughs> it's making the noodles cold. So when you eat it, it tastes cold, even though it's still spicy. But when you drink something, it makes it even taste. It tastes even spicier. And this. Opening my mouth while the breeze blows by. I just wanted to cool my tongue a little. I don't even think I ate but half of it here there. And I've drank more than half the milk. Why did I buy such a small milk? I needed that. I need like milk the size of this. I bought a milk. What's this? 250 ml. And this is a 2 liter uh, bottle of water. I need a milk this size. Let me just cut it. better to have milk than water. I took one sip of this matter and I was dying. <clears throat> I think I think I can only eat about half of this. I'm not gonna eat any more. It's my last bite. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> I ate about half and I'm almost finished with the milk. So I don't think I can eat the rest of this with the amount of milk I have left. <clears throat> Maybe I should have tried the one time spicy first. Because in my first ever YouTube video I made noodles but I made um, those two minute noodles it wasn't spicy I think it was like a um, cheese flavor and I added bacon and um, an egg so <coughs> um, so I wanted to try it because I thought it was easy and it was my first ever camping YouTube video so that was the only other time that I made noodles on YouTube <coughs> this is the second time it's actually stained the plate can you see this part that I ate it's still got it's stained the sauce is still there As I said, I don't know why milk helps when you're eating the spicy noodles. But if you know, let me know in the comments, please. It sort of like numbs your throat so you don't feel the spiciness.
Well guys, uh, it's not that dark. There is some sunlight still there. I got my light out. But I'm going to be, I'm going to go inside the tent and chill because I can feel that the mosquitoes are just having their way with me. So I'm going inside the tent for now. This is what it's like inside the tent. I moved everything inside the chair table. There's my air bed with pillows. And here is my sleeping bag. So that's it for tonight. I'm just gonna relax inside the tent, probably watch something on my phone. I will see you all in the morning. Morning. What is the time? It's just after eight in the morning. I woke up because the sun, the sun came out and it's striking straight into the tent, and it's starting to get, <laughs> starting to get very warm inside. So I had to wake up. So that's the sun striking in. I think I'm gonna go outside now. I think what I'm gonna do now this morning, I'm gonna take down the tent pack everything into my car. Uh, I didn't bring anything for breakfast this morning so I'll, I'll have to go check for something. I think I'm gonna... I saw that there's a chicken liquor not far from here. So that's like a fried uh, chicken uh, chain restaurant. And um, yeah, I didn't... I only ate half of the noodles yesterday so I am... I didn't have a full meal yesterday. So uh, pack up then breakfast. This is a really nice space. I think I might come here again another time. So, that's the packing done. Uh, let's go search for some breakfast. So this is chicken licken. Hello. Hello. Um, can I have? Uh, can I have the hot wings meal for eighty-two rand? Okay, what uh, what well, what cool drink you want? Give me a uh, coke. 
so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you did you can maybe give it a like uh in terms of the spicy noodles i think two times was a bit too much to try out so maybe i'll try out one times or the normal one in the next video i didn't actually put my tent away if you can see in its bag because when i get home i need to open it up and uh, clean it on the inside so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all in the next one Thank you very much. Right. Now this is chicken licking. So good. Let's see what's in here. I have a Coke. Leave that there. Let me just try and take this out of the packet. I'm not going to eat right now because I think I should rather go home but I just want to show you guys so what's in it is a piece of toast chicken wings a uh, salad and some chips maybe I'll try a chip There was also a McDonald's down the road, but I was feeling for chicken today.